Type C steam wagon. Uh, another one for my railway. Uh, another one, quite cheap. It's uh, cost me one pound thirty-five pence. Better than nearly twenty quid. <laughs> it's ridiculous that prices. That shop. Right. First piece. It's got the row for the floor of the cab basically and the sides there is some bad flashing on these ones so they're going to have to be cleaned up there's also a rather heavy mold line as well again a little bit more work but not that much uh, there's good rivet detail and there's good planking detail on the walls as well again second sprue detail it's quite nice on it but we do have some pin marks in the actual wheels and they go right into the wheel itself actually that one there this one here is actually right through into the hub so we're going to have to fill these that goes almost to the outside of the wheel but uh, we're still going to have to fill all these ones up here and a bit of flash on this not a lot but a lot more work than the last one So these instructions so uh, there's five parts to these instructions not a lot to go on it but there's enough here it'll give you the parts that you need to put on and where to put them it's nice and simple again uh, you're probably looking about a 24 hour build not a lot to it at all and the decals on this one uh, <coughs> look a bit yellowed but I think they'll be okay got on quite a bit with this I actually did all the spraying on the tree um, as you can see here that's all done I put together the cab sights because that took a lot of work um, it had to be carved down a bit because it was out quite a bit uh, the base was a lot bigger than the sides or front was but a little bit of carving down uh, sanding it's in place now and it's all together <coughs> ready still a little bit of brass to go on here and you see as soon as I start talking to the camera bang goes company he's been fast asleep all day while I've been doing this I put the camera on and start talking and he's coughing Ooh, I don't know some days I don't know anyway here's a picture of him this is how he's been all day there he is that's what he's usually like and of course now I started talking again uh, you've been caught on camera boy you've been caught on camera ok <laughs> get back to this model now, a couple of disappointments. One, my own making. Um, I have these, which are hold tight tweezers. I put the front axle in there, painted it up, and then, oh, I dropped it. I don't know where the axle is. I know where this is, but I don't know where the axle is. It's gone somewhere. I will find it. I'll, do, I'll find it tomorrow. It's this I need to let settle and harden off overnight one disappointment with this model and apart from the one i dropped that's my fault this is the kit's fault there were supposed to be two of these in there this triangular section right at the end here is missing on the other one it's not broken off it's actually it's a, a um must have been a bubble in the injection molding when they've done it and it's completely missing that piece off so I'm gonna to have to make another piece of that up right now you can see it's come together um, the roof I've actually decided just to pop it on with white wood glue so in the future if I want to I can find the items I can take the roof off and scratch build the inside. The wheels have come out particularly well on this one. Uh, 
surprisingly the body has as well I found the front axle right under my nose as usual so I've got to paint this up red and then I can put it onto here as well as you can see I've now completed the build uh, all left to do is to put the decals on and uh, she's turned out nice the other day uh, somebody was on about <laughs> deco trays using this little tray you get from uh, I think it was Trumpeter or it might have been Tamiya and I think it was about 13, 14 pound for this little tray and this is mine it's a paint roller tray all you have to do is just tip it back this way wets the surface, you put your deco in here and you put it on here to let it soften nice and easy as I said doing the decals uh, I've got what I've got in here is lukewarm water and one or two drops of washing up liquid depending on how much water I've got in there and I can lay this down on here let that soak there's plenty of there's plenty of room in there for very large details so Uh, I'll keep my microsol or micro setting like this. It's actually a, a cardboard tube from the um, from the toilet. Uh, cut down. It's just right. I found for my two um, bottles to be in there. Uh, the microsol and the micro set. Actually, I've got to get some more uh, microsol. Getting a bit loose. Low on it. Oh, come on, you. Hang on, I'm gonna take this out. Uh, Take that out now and put that on there. Put this over to one side and we'll get the model. Wet the brush and uh, wet in the area. There we are. I don't believe in uh, putting microsol or microset into the water to start with. The reason is this is a softener. Not really many people know that because I, see, I, quite, I keep seeing them tipping it into the water. Now that's, soft, that's starting to soften the detail as soon as it hits the water. So you're trying to slide it off. You're trying to slide a, um, a softened detail off and more often than not you'll find that it, it stretches. So, uh, wet the fingers and just slide the decal into place. That's it. There. Just get a cotton bud and just gently roll over the top, squeezing the water out gradually. Cotton bud also soaks up the excess water as well. Now that's laid down. I'll get a small brush because I don't need don't need a lot on this one. A bit of microsol over the top just to take it down. Alright, now that do its business. Now I'll put a little one on the front. There we go, that's that one done. Again, we'll use a water on this side. Actually, I'm going to use some micro set sole on this as well. Uh, put it over that detail because the other one's just 
cracked just where the A is here the top of it cracked so I'm making sure this time that that doesn't happen I'll try to now we can let this dry and put some uh, finish over the top